hey brothers and sisters just a quick video i want to remind you guys of something i might have told you about this before i think i did but on july 14th i had a dream and uh i sent a message to um patrick winfrey and um i talked about this dream right so let's talk about this real quick because i really believe this is a signal this is a dream that's talking about the rapture is coming soon because we know that uh, many people talk about Elijah returning to the earth and the spirit of Elijah also. We know that Jesus Christ said that John the Baptist, if you will accept it, is Elijah come back. But there's something more to this. You know, a lot of people talk about the two witnesses and that one of them is Elijah. So I don't know. I don't understand this dream completely, but here it, here it goes. This is very important. The Lord has been showing me here lately. Uh, he didn't, he hadn't shown me a lot of things in like the last two years. And then all of a sudden he's been dealing basically with myself, but now he's talking to me again about things that are happening in the future. So, um, this is what I sent Pastor Patrick Winfrey in a text on July 14th. I had a dream this morning. I dreamt I saw a half moon that was red. And then I told him the night before there's fires over here. So the moon was kind of red the night before. So I was wondering like, maybe does that have some tie into it? But uh, anyway, um, so I said... I actually saw that the night before bed because of the fires in California. I'd seen the moon was kind of a red color. In the dream, I was told that the moon would turn silver. And then I was in Israel by a beach or by the beach. And sitting at a picnic table was a man who looked like my brother Thomas. Who has been dead for three years now. So he came back from the dead. And if you remember in my other dream, and Patrick also had a dream about things going back. My other dream, everyone had to put on the orange like Donald Trump was wearing. Now, Donald Trump was laying on the ground, and I couldn't remember if he's on his left side or right side. But then I was thinking about this, and he was actually laying on his right-hand side with his hand on his right-hand ear. That was the ear that he was shot in, and I dreamed this before... Uh, uh, he was ever convicted or before he was shot. And I posted that dream also, and he had this branch across his arm, an oak branch, and he was under an oak tree. And all the Christians were told to put on the orange and walk backwards. So that's talking about going into the past, returning to the past, something about that, right? And so I couldn't tell if Donald was alive or, or dead, right? And then I had a second dream, and in that second dream, Donald Trump is, uh, he's shot. Okay, now first dream, his ear, right? He's covering his right ear. And I was wondering, why does he have his hand over his right ear? And then this oak branch across him. And then in the next dream, he is shot in a uh, tent, like at a golf course or something, some kind of gathering where there's tables in this tent. Okay, and he, and he died in the dream. So I don't know what's going on. He was wearing blue like this color of blue. Kamala, I saw a few months later, I saw her wearing a pantsuit that color. I don't know what that means or if there's even a correlation there. <clears throat> but anyway, that's what I saw in this dream. So let's start this over again. I had a dream this morning. I dreamt that I saw a half moon that was red. I actually saw that the night before bed because of the fires in California. In the dream, I was told that the moon would turn silver and I saw a sliver of the silver moon in this whenever I was told that. And then I was in Israel by the beach and sitting at a picnic table was a man who looked like my brother Thomas who has been dead for three years. Now he had came back to life like in the in the dream about Donald, we must go backwards. He was counseling people who were getting 
who were going to get married. I kept looking at him, was it Thomas or was it not? And he was cutting these things in half that looked like huge craft cheese slices, the ones that have the plastic on them. He'd cut them in half and he was telling these grooms, it was a groom and a bride, and there were many of them. And he would tell them all how serious the wedding was, how serious this uh, contract they were entering into in marriage, how it was just very serious and it had to be taken as that. And it's from God. This is a contract with God for this, for a marriage. And uh, he'd cut those in half and hand each one of them half of it, right? And then they would agree to this, to what he was telling them. They had to agree and then they could go and they were going to be in this line. And there was this, I don't know, 50 or 100 of these couples and they were all holding hands, walk along the beach and they were getting ready to be married. He got up from the table and began to walk towards the ocean. And then... I heard words from the sky saying that Elijah or the spirit of Elijah is going to return to earth. When I was looking at my brother Thomas, I was thinking, how can he return because he is dead? And it is, is it him or is it not? His mouth was slightly different and his voice was slightly different. But I looked at him, he had long hair and it was my brother. I was just like, this is my brother, but how is this possible? He's back from the dead. And that's Elijah coming back from the dead. Get up there. So, look, tonight, I didn't know this at the time, but tonight there is a half red moon. There is a partial lunar eclipse, which is half. Okay? That's happening tonight. I didn't know there was any lunar eclipses at all scheduled for the United States or anywhere, really. And then, that's happening tonight. And then there's a silver sliver of a moon, which is going to happen around October 4th, which is also Rosh Hashanah. There is a comet coming on the 27th of September. It's C2023. And that comet is a once-in-a-lifetime thing, they're saying. It's supposed to be super bright. It's supposed to be so bright that you could even see it during the day, is what they're talking. And in the Jewish thing... It's a purple colored comet, I guess. They're talking about this. Rabbis are talking about this um, star that comes out of David. And they're very excited. So, brothers and sisters, I want you to remember this. this there's a super moon. After the thing turns red, it's going to become a super moon. A lot of times, weddings are done on a harvest moon. And that's what this is. It's a super harvest moon that's happening. So, brothers and sisters, be in prayer. Um, I really believe that this year it's very possible that the rapture could happen. All these things are looking forward to this. And we know that um, trumpets or Rosh Hashanah is the day that no man can know the day or the hour. So, lift up your heads, brothers and sisters. The Lord is about to come. I really, really feel this strongly that something is going to happen. I don't know exactly what this means, but I'm just putting this out there. And look, there's been a second attempt on Donald after I put that out. There's a second, and it was at a golf course. So, brothers and sisters, we need to be in prayer for Donald Trump, for God to put his hand upon his, on him for protection. We don't know what the plan of God is. The plan of God may be that Donald, uh, as I dreamed, he was at the Resolute desk and his cuffs were un undone and the cufflinks were undone and that means your work is finished and it ties into kennedy kennedy's wife jacqueline put the resolute desk in the in the oval office and donald trump is always talking about um being uh like abraham lincoln um and the tie into that was in that the dreams in 2018 of the attack on the united states i saw uh a Lincoln, the Lincoln that Kennedy was shot in, and I saw that Lincoln parked in New York City, and there was a nuclear weapon in it, and there was no way to stop it from detonating. Now, I believe Kennedy's, uh, Lincoln's secretary was named Kennedy, I think. There's a huge tie into this in the natural world, and then you have Donald Trump comparing himself to Lincoln. And then I saw this Lincoln. And then after the Lincoln, I was in a train that was speeding out of control. Pieces were flying off of it. 
and there was one man sitting in the car with me and he had bright red hair. Donald Trump has red hair, right? And so he kept looking at me and smiling and he had blue eyes. Donald has blue eyes. I didn't, I didn't understand this at the time, but look, I asked the guy, I said, my name is Gary. What's your name? And the guy looks at me and he says, my name is Methuselah. The Bible tells us that Methuselah was the last, when he died, that that signal that the flood was the end of the earth. Maybe they're talk, Maybe the scripture is trying to tie this in and maybe Donald Trump's death, if it happens, means the end of the world or his not being, being able to be president. I don't know exactly, but this is just strange. So anyway, in the dream in 2018, the Lord told me, this was a dream from the Lord, that the United States is about to be attacked by China, Russia, and Iran had something to do with it, and North Korea. So, brothers and sisters, we need to be in prayer. We need to um, really uh, intercede for Israel, for these uh, these people that have been attacked. There's, uh, it's horrible what's happened to them. So let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we come before you in the mighty name of Jesus, and we ask for peace to come upon Jerusalem, to send peace there and to help Benjamin Netanyahu and these things that are going on, Lord God. We ask that you'd undertake for Donald Trump. Father, we ask that you'd undertake for the pastors across the world, not just the United States, but everywhere. Father, that you'd send your spirit, the Rahu Kodesh, the Holy Spirit, into their hearts to warn the people to repent of their sins. The Lord says, repent of your sins and seek my face. That's what the Lord says to you who are listening. Repent and seek my face. Heavenly Father, we love you and we thank you for your son and what he did for us on the cross. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we ask you to undertake for our loved ones, almighty God. In Jesus' name, amen.